Let's do this one. All right, determine the average shear strain, that should be gamma, right, at corner A. Okay, now, I kind of lied. Not really, right? I said that that angle right there is our gamma, but our gamma is the change in angle from 90 degrees. So, wouldn't you agree that we would need to find that plus that, right, and add those two up if it's, you know, two degrees up here and one degree up here, it would have changed by three degrees, okay? So let's call this gamma one, gamma two, gamma one. I, I really want to put tangent is equal to three over 400, uh, but I don't have to put tangent, right? It's just equal to three over 100. So this would be 0 0.0075 radians. And gamma two will be two over 300, right? I'm just looking at this triangle right here. Uh, if I want to find the angle of that triangle, opposite over adjacent, no need to do the tangent. This would be 0 0.00, sorry, 0, 0, 0067 radians. And so since both of those are changing it from 90 degrees, I'm going to add those two up. And so my um, gamma would be adding those two up, 0 0.0142 radians. 0 0.0142 radians. Okay, so that's that's easy. Now, it gets a little bit more complicated if we're not looking at corner A. That was corner A. That was corner A. Corner A is the easiest. But do you see that corner A decreases in angle for for positive positive strain? is when A decreases in angle. So we get that positive strain, shear strain, occurs when A decreases in angle. 